All right, we're gonna find the arc length of this function right here. And since this is y given as a function of x, we are going to use this formula. And our limits of integration are simply just gonna be 1 half to 1. Now we're gonna to need to take a derivative of this function with respect to x, so I'm gonna rewrite it first. And now taking a derivative is gonna give us a 1 half x squared minus a 1 half x to the negative 2 power. So we're just gonna take that dy dx and plug it into this formula for the arc length right here. And let's see what integral we end up with. Well, our only hope is that we can foil this thing out and that a little bit of tricky algebra is gonna get us out of this mess. So let's see what happens. Squaring this first term is just gonna give us a 1 fourth x to the fourth. In our foiling process, we have to multiply the first and the last terms. That's going to give us a minus 1 fourth because the x squared and the x and the negative 2 cancel. Then we have to do it again, so we're going to get another minus 1 fourth. And then squaring this last term is going to give us a plus 1 fourth x to the negative fourth power. All of that is under the square root, and we need to integrate with respect to x. So one thing we can do is notice that we have some like terms here. I'm going to copy the 1 fourth x to the fourth first. Notice that 1 minus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth is just plus 1 half and we have a plus 1 fourth x to the negative fourth. Now, as a side note, you'll notice that when we foiled out this term up here, we ended up with these terms here. And if we just combine those two negative 1 fourths, we would have gotten 1 fourth x to the fourth minus 1 half plus 1 fourth x to the negative 1 fourth. And I guess what I'm saying is all of that we just determined is the same thing as this 1 half x squared minus 1 half x to the negative 2, that whole quantity squared. So in the process of doing this problem, we notice that these two expressions are the exact same thing. That should maybe tip us off if we look back at our integrand that these three terms can be rewritten in this form. The reason that's very convenient in this case is because this square can now cancel with this square root. And what we're left with is actually a relatively simple integral to complete. We're just going to use the power rule twice, and we're going to evaluate this between 1 half and 1. Plugging in our upper and lower limits of integration gives us this line. Simplifying then, uh, cubing 1 is just 1. 1 to the negative 1 power is just 1. 1 half cubed is 1 eighth. Then multiplied by 1 sixth will give us 1 48. This minus a negative is going to be a plus. 1 half to the negative 1 power is just 2. This is then just 1 sixth minus 1 half minus 1 48th plus 1. And since these numbers are fairly reasonable, I'll go ahead and simplify by hand. I made all of the denominators 48, and 8 minus 24 minus 1 plus 48 is 31 over 48. And that is the final answer to this problem. That is an arc length, so the units are not squared or cubed, they're just units. 31 48 is just the length. I hope this video helped you out, and I hope to see you in the next one.